Okay, in the last video we looked at how to add thirds, so in this video we're going to look at how to multiply thirds. So here is the general rule. If I have got root a times by root b, that's equal to the root of a times b. Okay, it's probably best to see it with a variety of examples. For example, if I've got root 2 times by root 3, that will be equal to root 2 times 3 which is equal to root 6, okay? Next example, let's say I've got root 5 times by root 4, that would be equal to root 20, right? I'll just do that direct. Next one, let's say I've got root 7 times by root 3, that would be equal to root 21. Last one, root 6 times by root 4, I guess, would be equal to root 24. Okay, so that's the first rule of multiplying out thirds. Now, what would happen if we've got, for example, 4 root 2 times by 3 root 3? Well, the best way really to do this is to multiply the numbers before the thirds first. So we do 4 times by 3, which is 12. Okay, so that's that. And then multiply the thirds. So we do root 2 times root 3 and that would give us root 6, okay? So we multiply the 4 and the 3, that gives 12. We multiply the root 2 and the root 3, and that gives root 6. Okay, let's do the next one. We've got 2 root 3 times by 4 root 5, so 2 times by 4 is 8, and root 3 times root 5 is root 15. So this is 8 root 15. Okay, next. 6 root 5 times 3 root 2, we do 6 times by 3 is 18, and root 5 times root 2 is root 10. So it's 18 times by root 10. All right. Now, probably one other thing that would be quite helpful to know is uh, the root a times root a is just equal to a. Okay, we can probably just see this uh, actually if we just do a couple of simple examples. For example, if we did root 3 times by root 3, that's equal to the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, right? Same thing if we did root 5 times root 5, that would be equal to root 25, which is just 5. But of course, this idea is really quite simple, because when we say root a times by root a, what we really mean is root a squared, right? Because something times by itself is that thing squared, and the square root of a squared is just a. Okay, so let's try to see this applied in a few other examples. Okay, so 4 root 2 times 5 root 2. What we'll do is we'll multiply the 4 and the 5, so that gives us 20, and then we multiply the root 2 by root 2, and that will give us 2. So we end up with 20 times by 2, which is 40. Next, 3 root 2 times by root 8. Well, we can multiply the root 2 and the root 8, that will give us root 16. The 3 remains as it is. And of course, root 16 is 4, so this is 3 times by 4, which is 12. All right, last example, we've got 6 root 3 times by root 3. Well, that will be 6 times by 3. All right, and the reason for that is root 3 times root 3 is just 3, and 6 times by 3 is 18. Okay, guys. I hope that was helpful again. I'll see you next time.